It's an unlikely friendship, but Pippin and Kate are inseparable. They act like they've not seen each other in months, and it could be just a day. Yeah. And yeah, they really, they really have a close bond, and it's not like anything I've seen. The Deer and Great Dane met three years ago on Isabel Springett's land outside Courtney. Springett, a wildlife photographer, heard a noise coming from her horse's paddock. We started hearing the crying, and it's the most pitiful sound you've ever heard. We couldn't figure out what it was, and then we realized it was the fawn. It sounds like a child. It's, it's the most awful sound. After three days, Springett and her husband brought the abandoned fawn home and let her nestle up on Kate's bed. She woke up, took one look at her, and that was that. And the fawn just thought, oh boy, another big warm body, this is perfect. And they never looked back. The Springett's nursed Pippin to health. After that, she never went far, visiting Kate morning and night through the seasons, leaving only to mate. Isabel posted videos of the friendship on YouTube, catching the attention of the Ellen DeGeneres show. I'm really taken aback. I just thought I'd pop a, a couple of videos on and see what happened. And all of a sudden I was getting, you know, 40,000 hits a day. The attention isn't all positive. Since Pippin isn't confined as a pet, the province won't break up the pair. But the SPCA says any time an abandoned wild animal ends up on your doorstep, it's best to take them to a wildlife centre because handling fawns could jeopardise their animal instincts. This doesn't allow them to have a natural sense of, of predators uh, and in fact it could put them in danger later on in life. But Springett says Pippin's surrogate mom is the reason the fawn survived. And I think that Kate was her saviour. I don't think that she would have made it without Kate.